I am Bill Telepan at Telepan Restaurant on the Upper West Side. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple, healthy pasta that's a little different from the one we do at the restaurant. So come on in. We're going to take a little olive oil. And in both dishes I start off with garlic to start. So in here we're going to just let the garlics go in a, in a sort of a medium hot pan and let them toast a little. Americanized carbonars are made with heavy cream. We don't even put that in at the restaurant, but we do add a little butter at the end of it. So this dish, we're just going to do it in olive oil and a little stock. All carbonars have some sort of uh, smoked or cured pork in it, so we do ours with a uh, pancetta that we make in-house. We're going to replace the pancetta with mushrooms. Mushrooms have that wood beautiful wood, woody flavor. I have things like uh, chanterelles and uh, shiitakes in here. Things like portobello. Pe people replace burgers with portobello mushrooms. I don't understand that, but you know, every once in a while you have to have a burger, right? So, I'm gonna let those go cook a couple minutes. You'll add the salt, and that'll draw some of the moisture of the, uh, of the um, mushrooms out, which will help stop the garlic from burning. And to that, we're gonna add a little stock. You could use water in here. You could use the pasta water that you're boiling. I got a little good stock here. And once I add the stock, I'm going to add our cooked peas to it. And as I say with peas, the more the merrier. <laughs> you see how fast this is going? It's going very quick, but it's going to have a lot of flavor. So I'm going to take our spaghetti, which I cooked ahead of time, and just drop it into the water for about 30 seconds. If you're at home, you could just boil off some tea water, put your cooked pasta in the, in the, into a, uh, a colander, and just pour the tea water over. You're just looking to get it heated quickly because it's going to get heated some more, but not overcooked. See, that was pretty fast. I'm just going to add another pinch of salt. You see, get it all nice mixed up there well. And if you are near a farmer's market, you see some beautiful things like pea leaves. You can add some more. That'll just add more flavor to it. And at this point, I could cut the heat because it's ready to go. I'm going to take some basil leaves. Again, more flavor. That, but it works really well with the dish. All right, so I'm going to mix those all in. Only try this at home if you have practice. If not, just stir it around. All right, and you're just wilting the pea leaves and the basil a little. And then we're going to take this over here. You pull out a portion for us. Again, one of the things you have to remember too is when you're cooking pasta and you want to keep them healthy, add more veggies and pasta, you know. You use a little less pasta than the recipe calls for and add a little more vegetables to it. That's always a nice trick too. Now, the key to a carbonara, or what really makes a carbonara, is the egg, all right? So, again, this is one thing you could live with or without, but you know, I like to throw it in there anyway. And you got a little raw egg yolk in there. That one broke in there, but you could just crack one in there. And again, if you got a few calories to spare if you want, nothing beats a Parmigiana. And there you go, this is our sort of rendition of uh, pea carbonara from Telepan restaurant, a little more healthy.